In this video, you're going to learn how to win any argument online. Alright, so the first step is to actually open up your Python editor. So, I personally, I use uh, Visual Studio Code. And then you just want to create a new file. So, go up to File here, go to New File, and then name the file that you want. For an example, I'm just going to do uh, YouTube.py. Okay, so now that we got our Python script, open so we're going to start importing some uh libraries so so the stuff you want to import is import os import time import json and import requests all right so now that we have our libraries imported we're going to want to make a cool little fancy logo that a lot of hacking programs use so how to do that we're going to make a variable so we're going to make the variable name logo logo is equal to three uh if you type three quotations um it might do another three but if it doesn't just type uh another three once you have your six quotations in the middle of the third one just press enter and it should like spread it apart like this this is where our, our little ascii our our little big text is going to be right all right so this is the website i'm going to be using any other ascii art website works but personally i use this one so first you want to add your text of your ip tra uh, tracker so i'm going to do name mine orbit and then you want to name your font so personally i like bloody so that's what i'm going to be going for but any other one works all right so once you have your ascii art copied what you want to do you want to go back to your logo thing and the and once you spaced out these uh, little quotations in the middle you want to control v paste and then you'll have your title in the variable so the reason why mine's super tabbed is because i tabbed it to be in the center of the terminal when you run the script or run the program just to make it more fancy you, you don't have to do this but personally that was my choice. If you're confused on what this is, it's basically, it, it colors the terminal a specific color, right? So I use ChatGPT for this. I basically said, uh, try a fade from white to deep red with a smooth gradient. I'm not gonna jump into too much in this because it's just gonna waste tons of time, but how to get this is, it's basically what the output code is called, is it's called ANSI escape code. So you could say, hey, give me an ANS ANSI escape code for cyan bright cyan to dark blue and give me like a fade gradient and then the ai will do it for you or you can do it yourself by going on a website and copying the rgb values all right so i'm going to make a print function just to test the code oh shoot sorry so we gotta import colorama this basically adds color to our program. I don't know how I messed that up. Basically, you just want to import a new library in Colorama. And then I'm going to make a little comment just to keep my pro uh, program organized. You just want to do Colorama dot in it and then brackets. So now now it should work. So if you do uh, Python and then the name of your Python file, it should display in color just like this. And then that's it. Now we got our title and our color set up. All right, so we could just delete this. We won't need that no more. All right, so now we're going to make our actual menu, right? All right, so now we're going to list list the options for this tool. Since it's only an IP tracer and only has one function, I'm going to do something a little bit different, so bear with me here. So first, we're going to make a while statement. So we're going to go while true, os.system, uh, cls. So it's going to clear the screen when it's ran. We're going to do an, another os.system, and then we're going to do title. So this is going to be the title of our program and when it runs instead of it saying command prompt it'll say something else so name it whatever you want so mine's orbit so i'm gonna go orbit ip just to let it know that it's an ip program and then i'm gonna do dash by peers my youtube all right so now we're gonna actually print the logo i should actually put this up here just to, for it to make more sense all right, so we're going to create a new variable. So we're going to do x is equal to input. I should do press enter to continue. It sounds more like anonymous hacker type. Actually, no, no, we'll just do press enter to start. All right, so once that's that, well, we're going to make an if statement. So we're going to do if x, so if player's choice is equal to nothing. So like when they press enter. So once the player, pre once the user presses enter on their keyboard, they're going to have to put in a ip address and then it'll trace it for us all right so how to do that we're going to do os.system system cls so it's going to clear the screen once we press enter we're going to create a variable called ip is equal to input enter target ip and then we're going to add a little space 
All right, so after our IP variable, we're gonna do r equals requests dot get quotations. And inside those quotations, we're gonna do f quotation, another quotation, sorry. And then we're gonna have the website that basically traces the IP address for us. Okay, so this is the link you're gonna be using for your the your Python program. All this stuff that you see blurred is my personal information. I'll li I'll leave this link I'll leave this link in the descriptions for anybody, or you could just type it out. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna copy that, go back into your Python file, and then just paste that, and then do another slash, and then do IP. Oh wait, sorry. And then we're gonna do IP with this little fancy schmancy uh, quotations. I don't know how. I don't know what's called. <laughs> so we're gonna do print uh, print results results. Oh, space just to make it more neat. Okay, so how to add specific things? We're gonna do country for an example. So we're gonna do print quotations before that we add an F and then we're gonna do country is data data country and then I think that's oh sorry and then I need to put this in quotations get rid of this silly quotation no no that, that can stay there yeah. All right. So. Okay. So now that we have our first thing, so when the person pastes in their, they the target IP, it'll paste their country. So now how to add more? We're gonna do Control C, Control V. We're gonna add like a few more. All right. So now the next one, you can pick anyone you want. I'm going to be doing region name. So I'm gonna do region, and then in the second one, we're gonna do region name this is very case sensitive by the way so be pay attention to the capitals when you uh, type down the name in the second th uh, brackets the first one doesn't matter the first one just displays where it's from all right so okay so the things that I have is the country the region the city the zip code the ISP so the internet service provider and then the IP address. So it's just going to call back the IP address just because I want it to reprint the IP address. You don't have to do that. It's up to you. Once you've done that, you can just do a pause. Pause is equal to input. And then do you can do press enter to proceed. I'm going to control S that just to save it. And then I think think you're done so I'm gonna run this Python script per uh, I would you run it in a terminal just because you don't have to but in my experiences terminals better so I'm gonna run the Python file and as you can see it says orbit it's high centered it you, you didn't have to doesn't matter I'll say press enter to start press enter I'll say enter target IP address. I'm going to press enter since since it's going to get my machine's device IP address and it's going to trace it. So if I press enter, it's going to show the results and then it's going to get all my private information. So my country, my region, my city, zip code, ISP, IP, everything I put in that Python file. And then if I press enter to proceed, it'll bring me to the main menu. I'm going to just to make it more fancy, I'm going to just tab, ev or not tab everything, sorry. I'm going to space everything out just to make it more, make it more neat. So if I run the Python file, I press enter, enter target IP, you enter target results, it enters that, and then you do the press enter to proceed, and then that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple, easy, quick tutorial. If you have any problems, comment down below. I will be more than happy to help you out. If you want to... If you want to see more of tutorials like this, comment down below, subscribe, like the video.